Jesus says, Stand on your own feet and get your own word from me. September 23rd, 2015 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began Tonight's worship was very special. The Lord presented himself as a young child, around eight years old, and presented me as a young child, a little girl, in a pinafore with flowers in my hair. And we were dancing together, merrily, as children dance, very innocently and playfully. Though I have to admit, he certainly knows how to twirl me around in circles. It was a very sweet time and he really insisted on showing me myself as a young girl. I'm weary of waiting for the rapture, weary of world events not coming to a head, weary of still being in a position of not knowing and just waiting on the Lord. I mean, all these things are very fleshly. They're not spiritual thoughts that's coming from self-pity. The Lord was very tender with me, and said, I know how you feel. Rest your head here, Claire. Truly, it won't be much longer now. I don't like to see you suffer. Never do I like to see you suffer. Sometimes it's just a necessary evil that accompanies life. Still, I abhor suffering, and I'm so looking forward to the day you are liberated from this earth. When that happens, very little suffering will be left for you, except the moral suffering of seeing people perish and choose death over life. But even that will be restricted to you. There is a certain level of joy in heaven that is almost always and perpetually celebrated. It is only during extreme turning points that we all become silent. One such time is coming very soon. Lord, you know I've set aside the rapture so much. I even wonder sometimes if I'll be alive to see it. Oh no, you mustn't do that. Others are counting on you to stand firm, and that's my lesson tonight. Stand firm in what has been shown to you. It is dependable and trustworthy. I have taken particular caution with you, my Claire, to see to it that you were not led astray on the timing of events. Well, some would take exception to that because of what happened in June 2015. And yet all of those truly close to me felt it also. So why fret? You can't please everyone, just please me. Help me stand, Lord. You could push me over with a feather right now. Yes, I know. That is why I want to talk about standing tonight. When you have done all there is to do, all that is possible, and nothing is left undone, stand. This is certainly an evil day in which you are living. Yes, it is very evil and your faith will be severely undermined if you allow it, will you allow it? How do I prevent it? Take every thought captive and look for my signs that you are on the right track. I know exactly what you're going through right now. There is a certain weariness of life coupled with fears of the immediate future. I know well what ails you, my brides. Oh Lord, please strengthen me with a rapture dream or the like, anything from your vast storehouse of gifts. My heart is so faint. You will recover, and when you do, you can reassure my people that time is still short. 
That is why we didn't go for the more lengthy procedure for your teeth. You will soon have perfect teeth in heaven and no braces necessary. All those malformations that you had on earth, every one of them will be wiped away as you leave the imperfect behind to assume the perfect. He continued, quoting scripture. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable must put on the imperishable, and this mortal must put on immortality. But when this perishable has put on the imperishable, and this mortal has put on immortality, then will come about the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O death, where is your victory? And the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. 1 Corinthians 15, 52-58 and to this I say, imperfection resulting from the fall will be replaced with perfection, for nothing is in heaven that is considered unclean or blemished. Claire, come back to me. I was drifting mentally. I just went zoom off into the wild blue yonder, and I heard him say, Claire, come back to me. I'm sorry, Lord, where did I go? It doesn't matter. You are back now. There will be fallout in the prophetic community over all the lies that have been circulating. Some will even lose the faith. Keep your doors and your hearts open to the stragglers as they come limping back. If they had truly listened to me and not sought to know through secular sources, there would be no fallout. But it was just too tempting. Most of what goes on that is significant is never reported in the news. It is clandestine. The events that are public come forth way after the fact, when time has reached its fullness. I am not wishing to whip anyone. I would have spared them this embarrassment, shame, disappointment and fear had they sought me and me alone. My brides, when your hearts are one with mine, you hear the beating, and you will know when the beating accelerates. Then you will know something is afoot. But my heart has been beating steadily throughout this month, and had you been dwelling in me, you would have known it. The heart of the world beats erratically all the time. This is deliberate manipulation by the enemy to cause unrest, insecurity and fear. These emotions cause you to tuck in and change your focus from me to your own security. The issue here is trust, that if you dwell in me and I dwell in you, I will indeed cover all of your concerns. In fact, the more you focus on my agendas, the more I secure yours without any effort on your part. I know that does not meet your momentary need, Claire. Oh, beloved of mine, you are so tired. But pray now and open your Bible and I will confirm to you what you are longing to hear. Then he told me to turn my Bible upside down and open it from the back instead of from the front. So I did, and I opened to Luke 17:24. For the Son of Man in his day will be like the lightning, which flashes and lights up the sky from one end to the other, just as it was in the days of Noah. So also 
will it be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating, drinking, marrying and being given in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. Then the flood came and destroyed them all. It was the same in the days of Lot. People were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But the day Lot left Sodom, fire and sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. I tell you, on that night two people will be in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding grain together. One will be taken and the other left. You see, my love, it is I. Oh, thank you, Lord, for that word. You don't have to wait long, Claire. Don't grow weary. Rest in me, dwell in me, and stand on my living words, living because I have brought them to you as fresh manna. From all the pages you could have turned to, out of 500 pages in your Bible, who do you suppose was responsible for this rima? Hmm? I smiled. Lord, I don't want to presume or try your patience, but could you please bring me a confirmation from the news or some source like that? I mean news that you personally were responsible for, not worldly news. Oh, what am I saying? That Jesus isn't enough? Shame on me. Welcome to humanity, Claire. You are no different. Just because you obeyed me and didn't look to the news doesn't mean you haven't longed to. Even now your heart is lusting after worldly confirmations what shall I do with you, my love? How can you lead others when you fail so pitifully? That's easy. I don't lead anyone. I just follow you and you lead all of us. This answer is very pleasing to me, my beloved bride. Stand fast in what I've taught you. I'm coming and it will be soon, and you mustn't let your gaze wander, nor your hands grow slack. Stand fast, your time is coming. Each of you now, go to your own Bible and get your own word from me. It is time for you to stand on your own two feet, in my word. And here a short info for those who are new on our channel. We have also a Rima page on our website jesus-comes.com where you can get a personal word from the Lord. The link is below this video on YouTube. The Lord's peace be with you all.